In this short video, I'll be showing off the AVR simulator. I'll be using three different options to set and clear different register bits just to demonstrate uh, the difference between a hardware read modify write, a um, doing it normally in software, and then also using the bit addressable um, virtual port registers in some of the new tinies. So I'm going to use the, the cycle counter and the stopwatch to demonstrate the difference between these and also disassembly view so you can see how each of the code is compiled. And then I'm also going to simulate some interrupts using the simulator as well. Okay, let's get going. So I have the same project as I was using showing off the editor and I am just written some code here where I am clearing a bit and then setting it. So this is the direction bit of pin 4 which is our LED and so we're just clearing it and then setting it and we're doing that in software. Um, so I'm going to just show you quickly the data sheet and so in the port of the 817 um, we have hardware read modify write through dedicated toggle clear and set registers and those are these uh, toggle clear and set registers referred to there um, both in the direction and out and then what we have is mapping of often used port registers into bit accessible IO memory space so when we look at virtual ports, the direction out in and interrupt flags are actually exactly the same as direction out in and interrupt flags registers in the port. So we can access them just having V port instead. And so we'll see if there's any difference in how this code is compiled. So um, as a starting point, I'm going to just associate the simulator to the project. And then I'm going to start debugging and break. So processor status comes up, but if that wasn't there, I can just go for processor. And there you can see that actually, as we've started up, we've got 13 cycles on the clock. We can reset this and run to this point and this point and this point. So if we now run, we can see that we take 10 cycles here. another three using the um, hardware read modifier right and just two cycles using the virtual port registers so if we had to look at the disassembly view we can map these up next to each other and we can show you that there's a fair considerable amount of work done um, in software to clear and set bits. You can see that there's fewer instructions there with the hardware and then with the virtual port you can see it's just a single instruction. Um, clears bit and IO register, sets bit and IO register and you can see how efficient that is. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to see if we can hit an interrupt service routine. So the difference is here, now if the code is running, we, we can't really trigger an, an ISR. But so we kind of have to pause, just sitting pretty much in the while loop there. And if we go to our interrupt flags and set bit five, and then run, you can see we hit our ISR. Now that we're in our ISR, we can try and, and step into some of the functions. And see the program flow. Thank you.